What's up guys and uh, welcome to the show. So this is uh, something different. I'm hoping that my camera setup thing works out for this because I kind of had to jerry rig my phone to my tripod because uh, camera issues again, story of my life, right? But uh, I figured I'd make this video, different type of video than I've made, but I might, depending on how this video does, make this into your regular thing. Um, so basically for those of you who don't know what Brawl is, uh, go check it out. It's in the link in the description box uh, below. They basically are support for bouncers for around the world. Uh, it's basically what the acronym stands for. Uh, they teach people that, you know, they're the good guys and uh, they just show their support and everything, which is a really great organization uh, for sure. It's a good brotherhood for them, but uh, I figured I'd... Uh, do like a story time about my bouncing career now for those of you who don't know and I don't think anybody really does because it's something that I don't really talk about um, for various reasons I've been bouncing on and off for over 15 years uh, since I was 17 years old I uh, was my first bouncing gig I got uh, from a guy I used to work out with uh, he needed a hand bouncing his brother's party so uh, he ended up asking me and I, that's how I got into it uh, so I figured I would just uh, basically on and off. I just I, I started uh, doing it, make a little extra money. Plus I was fun, easy gig. Uh, so I figured I'd just do that, a little story time on it. So basically the story took place. I was doing a, a bar about seven eight years ago. It's around 2010 2011. So I guess like seven eight years ago. Uh, that this ended up happening. Uh, basically, there was about seven bouncers at the time at this uh, one bar. It was a bigger thing. It was a two-story uh, bar. There was a bar on top, and then downstairs, there was another bar. And uh, basically, I got the job because I knew the guy who owned the place. I grew up with them. They're a couple brothers. They lived across the street from me, grew up across the street from me. Uh, that's and basically they started up a bar and I was like, hey, if you ever need a hand doing um, security, doing bouncing, just let me know. They called me up and I started working for them. So basically about a week into it, um, I was doing, you had two bouncers outside and then you come inside and then um, you pay your fee, then you get in. I was the guy who was on the inside uh, at just after coat check so you come in you pay your cover i think it was like three four dollar cover charge you pay your cover then i let you in the door if you don't pay your cover i escort you out you can't come in that type of thing so basically this guy comes in and uh you know a tall taller guy not not as big as i was like width wise or anything like that but taller guy comes in and he just his friends pay and then he just walked tried to walk through and I said, excuse me, you gotta stop, you gotta pay your fee. It's a $3 cover charge, you gotta pay uh, your cover charge. I can't let you in without it. And he said, no, I don't need to pay a cover charge. And then so he tried to get through me, I pushed him back. And I said, no, you gotta, you gotta pay a cover charge, I can't let you in, you pay your cover charge, you, get, you gotta get out of here. And he said, no, I, I'm the boss, I don't need to pay a cover charge. I said, no, you're not. You got to pay your cover charge or you got to get out. And he started arguing with me saying that he owned the place. And I said, no, I don't know the owners of this bar. You're not the owner of this place. Uh, I said, you got to pay your cover charge or you get the hell out of here or I'll throw you out. Uh, so then he went to the girl who were coat check and he said, can you tell this guy that I own this place, that this is my bar, that I don't need to pay cover. And the girl, she just like laughed and didn't say anything. So I was like, okay, she, she didn't say anything. Clearly this jack offs, you know, pulling my chain we're trying to make a fool of me so he tries to like push his way through me so I grabbed him and I started throwing him around uh he's just like what are you doing I own the place I'm the bar so I started throwing him around a bit kind of roughing him up a little bit and then the head bouncer comes running up to me from behind me and he grabs me from behind he pulls me back and he needs he says this guy owns the place what are you doing this is that's the owner of the bar so and I was like five like are you serious I thought I knew the owner of this place there's a couple brothers that so I was like shit so then I you know of course straighten up his suit and I'm oh, sorry about that you know whatever and then right after that I was sent downstairs 
to the other bar. Like, I was sent downstairs, and I was like, fuck, like, clearly I was sent down here because I just roughed up the owner of the bar. So I was sent downstairs where I was, like, dead. I was, like, sent in timeout, like a punishment type thing. It was, like, dead downstairs, right? So then I'm down there for a few hours. End of the night comes. The guy comes in the bar, and I was like, and he, he's just like, Peter, he's like, come here, I need to talk to you for a sec. And I was the same guy that I just roughed up out uh, upstairs that owns the bar. So I was like, oh, God, like, I'm in, I'm fired. I'm in deep shit. And then he comes in, and I was like, look, I thought, you know, my two friends, these, these are their names. I'll call them Jack and Frank for now. That's not their names, but I thought they owned the bar. And it turned out they were part owners. They were business partners with this guy. They own the bar with this guy. He's just like, so I thought this guy was going to like, you know, give me shit and fire me and stuff because I just roughed him up upstairs. But then he says, he says, oh, he says, you did a good job. It's because you didn't know I was part owner of this place. You didn't know anybody could come in and say, hey, I'm the owner, I'm the boss, whatever, and walk through said you didn't let that happen he said you didn't know who i was you didn't let me in you you know you did a good job you did your job you know that's awesome so he basically like gave me a pat on the back and was like oh good job whatever whatever so then i was like huh oh, like i can't believe i didn't get shit can you know what i mean but yeah so i thought that was kind of funny and then the next of course i left and then you know Four, four or five days later, I come back and I come to work and he was all buddy, buddies, buddies, buddy with me there. So I was ended up kind of like becoming his buddy after that. But yeah, I, I guess you could say I ended up roughing up, roughing up my boss there. So I guess how many people could say that, that they beat on their boss, right? But uh, anyway, that's the uh, story time uh, bouncing video for today. Um, like I said, if this video does well, I'll do more uh, stories. Got 15 years plus worth of stories on these things, so I could keep going for a while. But like I said, anyway, check in the link description below. You guys, will, um, that'll take you to the Brawl uh, Facebook page. Uh, check out to see what they're all about. They have a, a YouTube channel as well. Uh, great company, great organization, especially if you're a bouncer yourselves. But uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know I love you guys very much, and I will check you in the next video.